Today we're going to be staying at a very special accommodation which is a boat in the middle of Bangkok River. Hi. What's up guys? So we have just reached Bangkok. Yay. So today we have a very special video that we will be checking out. This is a hotel review or Airbnb review. We won't review much yet. We'll let you all take a look later. But from the title itself, you can probably tell where we will be staying. But let's find our way there first because we have all the bags. It's a little bit tough to block. Today we're going to be staying at a very special accommodation which is a boat in the middle of Bangkok River. So to begin this tour, the entrance is dead. So that's about it. So like how you always enter a boat, you just basically climb through and get through the window from here. So a little bit sketchy but it's alright, it's actually fine. So if you're not local here, it's probably a little bit tough for you to get to this boat but we will talk about it later. But the entrance of this boat or entrance of this Airbnb is over here. So basically there's only one entrance you can't get through unless you want to squeeze through the window. But basically this is it. As you enter the Airbnb, you will be immediately greeted by this five-seater dining or slash relaxing area where basically you can just eat your meals here if you want to. And right at the end of the boat, there's two hammocks and a speed boat and a small table with a little chair over there which you can basically just chill and relax and enjoy the view at night when all the temples glow up. There's also this boxing back here if you want to relax. There's a level 2 which we'll be checking out later. Stairs a little bit steep but it's alright. Then the hammock over here. And immediately on the left you'll be greeted by three toilets. One of the toilets will be attached to its shared bathroom with the other three rooms on this Airbnb. Okay, then over on the opposite side of the toilet there is the kitchen or you can call it the bar. There's a microwave, a fridge and a couple of glasses if you want to have a drink or two. And right beside the kitchen table there's a mini living-ish area with a very very small TV. You can definitely chill here if it's too hot or if it's too rainy outside. As mentioned there are three rooms but there are four actual rooms over here. One of the rooms is Roger's one but he can rent it out if he choose to because he actually has a bar that he can also stay over. So yeah and later on we will be having a chat with him so he can tell you more about the story of his boat. But carry on to the tour. Basically this is our room and that's about it. <laughs> So just to take note, if you're coming here, don't bring all your luggages because there are literally no space for our bags. And if you're bringing a luggage, I think it will be even worse. So if you're coming here, maybe just put your luggage in the hotel to hold or put in a locker or somewhere. Lah. But for our room, there's an attached toilet over here. Very, very simple. There's a shower over there. There's a toilet bowl over there, the sink, and there's a river view over there. And this toilet is actually dual access. So through this door is actually our room over there. So dual access toilet, very interesting. And moving into our room, very, very cramped. There's a shelf here to put all your stuff. There are a couple of books there. There's an aircon and two mini fans over here. And basically the room can just fit up a queen size bed and that's about it. And for the windows, there are two large size windows that looks out to the river of Bangkok. And living area over here, like we mentioned just now with a fan and moving down this door, that's actually Roger's room. Maybe try not to talk so loud because he's having a good sleep right now, but there's another room over here. So this is the second room, similar in size, queen size bed, aircon, and there's a door access to the outside of the front of the boat. What do you call the front of the boat? Not too sure. But then there's also a mini TV apparently and also this shelving area in the second room. And moving on to the front of the boat. So just now Roger mentioned to me that he's currently renovating the front of the boat. So not too sure what he has in mind but there's also a ladder up to the second level which we'll be checking out in a bit. So this is the stairs up to level 2. A little bit sketchy but yeah. So let's go. So on level 2, there's the communal area over here. A very large sofa. So basically you can chill with all your new friends. <laughs> As you can see, the boat is very shaky. I am not doing very well with this, but because Roger mentioned that there are a lot of ferries going by in the day, so the waves makes the boat very, very rocky. But during the night, there are no boats and ferries on the river, so 
the river a lot calmer so don't expect this kind of shakiness at night if you are here and basically over at the front on the second level of the boat there's two sofa areas where basically you can just sit and chill out and just enjoy the river at night but during the day it's definitely very very hot so i wouldn't really recommend unless you want to do some sun tanning in the middle of bangkok and over on the other side of the living area there's this table and there's a fridge and the music player where roger plays his music throughout the entire boat right over here there's the third room of sabai sabai boat house to go to the toilet you have to actually climb down to level one to do your number one and number two so not so ideal if you usually wake up at night to go and pee or shit but yeah the room's a lot more bigger than ours there's also a tv here which you can just chill and play whatever you want to play and moving on to the front of the second level of the boat there's the control room where roger drives his boat out he did mention to us that he used to do it frequently but now not anymore and also because the levels of the water is very very low uh, control room not really accessible but you can just look from the outside like the windows are translucent and moving on to level 3 this ladder brings you to level 3 so currently now it's super duper hot so basically level 3 is just an area for you to chill out they can basically fit about 8 to 9 people but currently now it's very very hot wouldn't really recommend tonight we'll be coming up and checking out the area so it'll be a very nice relaxing area so for this segment we're just gonna talk a little bit about the listing on Airbnb so the name of this listing is called Sabai Sabai Houseboat there are four rooms however Roger occupies one so there's three rented out listings on Airbnb and as you have seen in the tour itself we did show you guys all the rooms so if you're coming here you can check it out for yourselves not very spacious but it's one heck of an experience to be staying on a boat on the river in the middle of Bangkok do take note that the toilet for two rooms are not attached it's a shared bathroom however one of the rooms that we are actually staying in is semi-attached so it's like dual access from the outside so make sure to lock the other toilet door if other people are here so we did have a chat with Roger the owner of Sabai Sabai houseboat and here is what he said I'm Roger and uh, running the Sabai Sabai I live in Bangkok. I do this now two years and uh, the last one and a half years over COVID I'm doing boat on the pier here in Tapa Chan which is in the middle of the old time Bangkok. Uh, usually the boat was working as a tourist boat and coming with COVID converted to my houseboat kind of and had the idea to rent it out with rooms and now it's Airbnb. I do a boat so for five years I come to Thailand for 18 years and I'm in this country because of Germany. From Germany? Germany, yeah. I lived in Berlin most of my life. You have oh, a bar? Yeah, I do run a bar on Khao San Road, the Le Colonial Bar. It's a uh, French colonial style house. Oh, and, that's nice. Uh, what's, what's the name? Le Colonial. Le Colonial. And for locality of this Airbnb listing, it's very very well localized because right down is just Grand Palace and right opposite is Wat Arun, all the famous places and touristy places. Looking nearer to this boathouse, just less than 5 minutes walk, there's a very nice shopping mall which Roger mentioned, which we will go and check it out later. And right opposite, there's this shopping mall-ish, what's they called? Ta Wang Lang. Sorry if I butchered the name, but you can access it by just taking the boat right outside your boat. <laughs> If you have come to Bangkok, you know that traveling in Bangkok, you can travel using the ferries. So take that ferry right outside or right behind your boat to get to the other side. This is how I balance myself on a boat when there is another boat park. Like I mentioned, there are boats and ferries that ride past here. So the waves makes our boat very, very shaky. So Rose is losing. Trying to balance. Yeah. So if you get easily seasick, I recommend maybe not to come or if you want to come, maybe come check in at night then check out early in the morning. But it's not worth it. It's a totally different experience. But if you are not easily seasick, come. So for the price of this Airbnb, it's $55.39. And I apologize for the knocking because there's construction at the house over there. But I hope you all still can hear me. Y'all still can hear me. So this is not your typical Airbnb. So getting here is quite tough. But we'll do a video guide later showing you guys how to come here using the 360 because it's not super easy and you basically need to follow your instincts. So if you have a good sense of direction, I think it's acceptable. But if you're not very good with directions, you might actually get lost because coming through, we have to walk through very tight spaces through the market so getting to this airbnb is quite tough so the owner actually mentioned to go to that 7-eleven okay you walk all the way until here you can read and just enter into the street 
And once you enter the street, you should just walk all the way straight until you reach the pier and you should find Sapai Sapai House. But we can't really do a 360 video or a video because there's no filming apparently permitted. So let's just respect the rules a little bit lah. But we're going to check out the mall that's right beside the Sapai Sapai House too. So we're currently at the mall. The mall name is called Ka Maharaj and it's literally right there. So our boathouse is over there and it's less than three minutes walk. There are a couple of fancy restaurants, there's even Starbucks over here. So if you need to get your fancy coffee fix and other fancy food, you can come here and check it out. But, but we are here to eat cheap food, so we're going to find somewhere else to eat. But overall, the place looks very, very nice and a lot of place to chill and watch the sunset. So yeah, we're going to grab dinner and head back to the boathouse and chill. Later. Okay, what's up guys? So uh, it's night and here is the view. Very, very nice, very, very windy and very awesome place to chill on top of the deck. Uh, we did manage to catch the sunset because we went out and grabbed dinner and then the dinner place was a little bit too fine. Then we got caught in the jam, so we did not make it in time for sunset. I'm sorry, but here it is at the night. Uh, a little bit dark, you can't see, but you can see Rose over there. Hello. Hello. Yeah, and the cushions just now that like I mentioned. You can just sit here and chill at night uh, since we are the only two people on the boat so we practically have this whole place to ourselves. But yeah, uh, so we're just gonna sit here, chill and plan the rest of our trip in Bangkok and book the rest of our stuff in Vietnam. So stay tuned for Vietnam and Bangkok content coming very soon. So we're gonna just chill and see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye! morning guys so it's the next morning and as you can tell or if don't know whether you can tell the boat is very very shaky uh, mainly because of the ferries the river is very heavily traffic in the morning so it's even more shaky in the early mornings uh, compared to the afternoon and night so I do want to reiterate that if you are easily seasick or you're prone to seasick I recommend you not to come because you come from plus shop will get seasickness but if you are not highly recommend to come it's a very interesting and good experience to try living on a boat in the center of bangkok and anything that you want to take note coming to this sabai sabai boat house airbnb is that there's a bunch of shops outside but they close relatively early like around four plus and they close the gates i would say right after they close so approximately 5 to 6 p.m they already close the gates for you to get back to the boat house is not as easy as compared to what we showed you earlier in the video it's actually this all the shops were closed and it was pretty creepy when we reached to the end of our alley the gate was locked on all sides and the boat entrance was literally right wow, in so front of us but we have to make one big round to enter the boat again so let me just speed this video up so basically we have to go through on the right side of 7-eleven walk all the way straight through this dark alley at night and it can be really really scary but it's actually very very safe so don't worry about it so this is the alternative entrance if all gates are locked so you really have to walk this dark alley-ish so yeah from the bureau it does not look as dark as it is but it was actually very dark i increased the brightness in this video i'll leave a small map over here so that you know where is this small entrance and as you are walking along the alley the entrance to the boat should be on your right so it's the last few moments living on this boat house we will be doing a little bit of work and to just wrap up this video i would say uh highly recommend like i've mentioned a couple of times but if you're really seasick better not and it's a really interesting experience rooms are very very small but you can basically challenge yourself uh. i'll leave the airbnb link in the description so you can check it out yourself do survey the area if you are interested and come and stay if you are coming to bangkok anytime soon and rose doesn't really want to appear on camera because she got no makeup on but her cons is basically the rooms is very small so if you're a little bit claustrophobic it might be a bit tough for you still a very good experience to come and stay on this boat in the middle of bangkok on the river and i'm very glad that i found this airbnb and to show you guys to those who are interested in staying on the boat in bangkok so yeah uh we're gonna check out at 11 plus 12 plus to go and grab lunch and head to our next hotel so we have finally come to the end of this video if you like this video remember to like share and subscribe and 
do support this channel by subscribing because we need to reach that 1k goal suck so that we can carry on reviewing more interesting accommodations around the world so yeah if you got any interesting accommodations that you want us to check out feel free to comment down below and see you guys in the next one bye